So before you can balance an equation, you need to know how many atoms are in each particle of the, L, uh, of the compound that you're working with. And so we need to see how many atoms are in each of these formulas. K2. So there are two potassiums in this. S and O. There's a capital S and a capital O. That means these are two separate atoms. If it was a capital S and a lowercase o, that would be one single element, and we would have four SOs, but we don't. We have S and O separately because of the two capitals. So we have a single S, see the invisible one there, and four oxygens. So one sulfur, four oxygens. Pause this video and you try number two. So you'll notice you have a single calcium a single carbon, and three oxidants. Let's look at what happens when you have parentheses. The numbers inside the parentheses go with only the element they come directly after. So this four only goes with the O and not the P. The two outside the parentheses goes with everything inside the parentheses. So this two goes with the P and the O. The three, there are no parentheses, so it only goes with the element directly in front of it, Mg. So we have three magnesiums. We have one phosphorus inside the parentheses times two, so we have two phosphoruses. We have four oxygens inside the parentheses times two, so we have eight oxygens. You try number four and five. Pause the video and see how you do. Next, if you have a balancing coefficient, a balancing coefficient goes with the entire formula. So this two goes with the hydrogen, the carbon, the hydrogen, yes, we have hydrogens in two locations, and the oxygen. The reason they did this is because this is an acid. You can tell because they put a hydrogen out front and the hydrogens that are out front make it an acid. The hydrogens that come later uh, do not make it part of an acid. They are just part of the compound, but they are not acidic hydrogens. So when you get further along in chemistry, it'll become important to know when something is an acid. So we have one hydrogen here and three here for a total of four. Times two means we have eight hydrogens. We have two carbons times two, so we have four, and two oxygens times two gives us four. All right, let's look at the next one. We have parentheses and balancing coefficients. So this two goes with the MN and the O4. This three goes with the beryllium, the manganese, and the oxygen. So we have a single beryllium times the three is three beryllium's. We have a single man manganese times two times three gives you six manganese. We have four oxygens times two gives you eight times three gives you 24 oxygens. Pause the video. You try number eight, nine, and ten. All right. I'm going to skip ahead to number nine. There are three leads, PB is lead, times two is six. There's one phosphorus, times four, times two is eight. There's three oxygens, times four is 12, times two is 24 oxygens. And I think you'll be able to get number eight and 10. Now let's take a look at how to balance an equation. You balance an equation by adding balancing coefficients. These are whole numbers that appear in front of each substance. You may not change the formulas or the subscripts, so you must leave H2 as H2. You can't ch change how many hydrogens you have. You can add a balancing number in front of it. You can change how many H2s you have, but not how many H's. The same with oxygen, and the same with H2O. By the way, if you do change the formula, for example, you say, oh, well, why don't we just change this to H2O2? Then we'll have two oxygens and we'll be fine. Well, actually, 
H2O is water. H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. It's a whole different compound. It acts totally differently. And when hydrogen and oxygen react, they actually burn and explode, and they make water, not hydrogen peroxide. That's why you can't just change the formula. So remember, the arrow is yields. The atoms before the arrow must equal the atoms after the arrow. This plus sign means these two are balanced separately. So if I put a balancing number here, it only goes with H2, not the O2. If I put a balancing number here, it only goes with the O2. If I put a balancing number here, it goes with H2O, the entire compound that comes after the balancing number. So we have two hydrogens and two hydrogens. So those are balanced. It's not, don't think about four total. Think about two before the arrow and two after the arrow. Then we have two oxygens before the arrow in the reactants and one oxygen after the arrow, arrow in the products. So we must double our oxygens here in the products to make us have enough oxygens. Now we just fixed the oxygens, but we ruined the hydrogens. That's okay, you will fix them soon. So now we have two times two hydrogens is four. What times two would give us four hydrogens? Aha! So now we have two times two is four, two times two is four, two oxygens, and two times one is two oxygens. So it is balanced. Let's try the next one. First, balance magnesium. We have one before and one after. So right now, the magnesium is balanced. That may change, but for right now, it's good. We have one hydrogen before the arrow and two hydrogens after, so that is not balanced. What can we multiply this one hydrogen by to get two? Two. Now, we fixed the hydrogens, but we also changed the chlorines. So we now have two chlorines. Oh, but hey, look at this. There are two chlorines over here already. That's perfect, it took care of itself. Notice the magnesium, there's still one of those on each side, so it's fine, so we're finished. All right, you balance the copper. Well, if you've noticed, they're already balanced. Now you balance the oxygens. We have two on the reactants and one on the products. What can you multiply to make two on the products? Two times one, can we put the two here? No, we must put it as a coefficient, not a subscript. Well, great, we fixed the oxygen and we messed up the copper. Now what? Well, fix your coppers. You have two coppers here. What times one copper would give you two? Oh, two. All right, pause this video and try the next two. Just pick one element at a time and balance each one until you have it finished. Then play the video again and look at the answers. So we have one AG, which is silver, and we have two AGs. So we balance our silvers. We have one nitrogen and one nitrogen, so we're good. No, we have two nitrogens. Watch out for that balancing too. So we need two nitrogens. We have two times three oxygens. Oh, lucky, we have two times three oxygens, yes. All right, two hydrogens. Oh, wow, it already took care of it, two hydrogens. One sulfur, one sulfur. Let's go back and check the silver just to make sure we still have it right. Two silvers, two silvers. Yay, we're done. All right, two irons, Fe is iron, so we make two irons. Three oxygens and only one oxygen. What times one will give you three oxygens? Oh, three. All right, two hydrogens. Wait, three times two hydrogens. Okay, so we have six hydrogens and we have two. What times two will bring this up to six? Oh, three times two. Let's check our iron. Two iron, two iron, 
three oxygen, three times one oxygens, six hydrogen, six hydrogens. Good, we're done. All right. When you have two of an element on one side and three of the element on the other side, make six of each. Put a two in front of the compound that has three. Put a three in front of the compound that has a two, like this. We have one iron and two irons, so let's balance our irons. We have two oxygens and three oxygens. Aha, two on one side, three on the other, okay? So, two times three and three times two. So we now have six oxygens here and six oxygens here. Yes, but wait a minute, we messed up our irons. Two times two is four irons. So wait a minute, how do we make this one four irons? Well, it's okay to erase your balancing numbers. You cannot put a subscript. You may not change the subscripts, but you can change your balancing coefficients. So instead of two, we need to have four. It's totally fine that two times two gives you four, and then just a four times one also gives you four. It doesn't matter how you get it, they just need to be equal. All right, so we have one iron and one iron. For now, they're balanced. We have three chlorines and two chlorines. Anytime that happens, the three gets a two, the two gets a three. So we now have two times three, six chlorines, three times two, six chlorines. But we just messed up the iron and the calcium. You can either go back or you can keep going. Either way, you'll end up with the same answer. So I'm going to go back to the iron. I have two irons, so I need two over here. All right, now let's keep going. I have six chlorines, I have six chlorines, I'm still good. I have one calcium, I have three calciums. Put a balancing three. Oh no, this is getting crazy. We'll check this out, this is pretty cool. Three times two bromines is six. And look at that, two times three bromines is six. It took care of itself, isn't that cool? So pause the video, you try 18 and 19, then turn the video back on and see if you did it correctly. We have two hydrogens and three hydrogens. Anytime that happens, three times two and two times three. Next, we need to balance the nitrogens. We have two here. Oh, looky there. It already fixed it. You have one aluminum and two aluminums. We must balance the aluminums. We have two hydrogens and two hydrogens. Nice. We have one sulfur and two sulfurs, darn it. No, three sulfurs. So one sulfur and three, three times one gives you three sulfurs on each side. Oh great, we just messed up the hydrogens. That's okay, three times two is six. What times two is six? Oh, three. Well, let's check just to be sure. We have two aluminums, two aluminums. Six hydrogens, six hydrogens, three sulfurs, three sulfurs. Yes, we're done. Next, when a polyatomic ion stays together, balance it together. Notice that NO3 sticks together. NO3 is nitrate. So balance it as if NO3 was one single element rather than one nitrogen and three oxygens. Also, sulfate, SO4, stays together, so balance it together. So we have one calcium and one calcium. So far, we're good. We have two NO3s and one NO3, so we need to have two on each side. We have two potassiums. Oh, hey, we now have two potassiums. That's nice. We have one sulfate and we have one sulfate. Yes, I think we're done. Let's just check one more time because that's especially important when it's complicated to make sure it's right. We have a single calcium and a single calcium. We have two nitrogens and two times one nitrogens. Let's save the oxygens for last. 
we have two potassiums and two potassiums, one sulfur and one sulfur. Okay, now for the oxygens. We have two times three is six plus, see if it's on the same side of the arrow, it adds. So we have four oxygens, so that's a total of 10. Over here, we have four oxygens here, plus two times three is six. Yes, we still have 10 oxygens. All right, so let's try another. Notice how acetate, C2H3O2, sticks together. So balance it together. And phosphate, PO4, sticks together. So balance it together. So one aluminum, one aluminum. Good. Three acetates, a single acetate. So make three of them. Three sodiums, yes, three sodiums. One phosphate, one phosphate, and we are done. Not nearly as bad as it looks, is it? Now, if you want to make sure, we have one aluminum and one aluminum. Two times three, six carbons. Three times two, six carbons. Three times three, nine hydrogens. Three times three, nine hydrogens. Three sodiums, three sodiums. One phosphorus, one phosphorus. Okay, now for those terrible oxygens. By the way, another hint is to always leave the worst element for last. And the oxygen is definitely the worst uh, element because it's here, 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 and here. So three times two is six plus four gives us 10 oxygens. Three times two is six plus four, perfect, 10 oxygens. You try 22 and 23. Finally, when an element is found in several different compounds, balance the most complicated element last. Save the second most difficult element for second to last. How do you know what's the most difficult? It's in the most different locations. So in this equation, oxygen is here, 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 and here. Four different locations. It's the worst. Save it for last. But the hydrogen is in three locations, here, here, and here. Save it for next to last. At least the sodium is only here and here, and the sulfur is only here and here. That makes those easier. Do the easy ones first, medium ones second, difficult ones last. So we have one sodium and two sodiums. Balance your sodiums. Now we need to wait on the oxygen and hydrogen, so let's go to the sulfur. One sulfur, one sulfur. Okay, now on to the hydrogens. Remember, if they're on the same side of the arrow, they must add together. If they're on the other side of the arrow, they must be equal to, to each other. So, we have two hydrogens. We have two hydrogens. We have a total of four. We have two hydrogens. How can we make that equal to four? Two times what gives you four? Oh, two. Okay, now for the oxygens. We, let's scratch these out so we don't get confused. We have two times one is two oxygens and four oxygens over here. So we have a total of six. We have four oxygens here plus we have don't forget the two out front, two oxygens here. Yes, we have six. Yay, the oxygens took care of themselves. And that will often happen when you save them for last. All right, if you know what you're doing, go ahead and try the next one. If you need help, continue watching the video. Let's see, the most difficult element, there's hydrogen, 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 so that's pretty bad. There's oxygen, 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 that's the worst. So let's start with the easy ones. Let's start with phosphorus. We have one phosphorus and one phosphorus, so that's good. We have one potassium, K, and three potassiums. So three KOH. All right, now on to the second to the worst element, hydrogen. We have three hydrogens plus three times one, three hydrogens, that's a total of six. Let's see, so we have two hydrogens, two times what will give us six? Oh, three. All right, let's scratch out the hydrogens and work on the oxygens. We have four oxygens, 
plus 3 times 1 is 3 for a total of 7. We have 3 times 1 is 3 plus we have 4 more. Yes, that's 7. We're done. When you balance number 26 and 27, remember, balance calcium and chlorine first, then hydrogen, then the four different oxygens. For this extra credit, balance the sulfur and the manganese first, then balance the hydrogens, and save the oxygens for last.